Gemini. Miami ain't Gemini. Yeah. What's going on, twins? What's your pop? What's going on in the life of a Gemini between the 15th and the 31st of December? Hmm. Are y'all actually making an integral decision? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all balancing out the nice twin and the not so nice twin, making them mesh together without the fight. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reading here on YouTube, but I'm a cuss. To all of my new as well as returning subscribers, welcome to the family. And hey, boo, hey, what's poppin'? What the hell y'all been doing? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> y'all, we a little dysfunctional new family. We don't fight, we don't fuss over here. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We do love, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten. Positive vibes only, all right? This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of June 9. It's not a personal, it's a general. If you need that personal, I currently have a $15, $15 off special until the 15th of December at 12 a.m. Central Time midnight okay so as long as you get your uh email in before that time and get your payment in before that time then we can definitely get you booked and hooked on up y'all better get y'all readings in because in january mocha going on a badass break I, my, my channel will make a year january 26 you know i'm gonna come back and party with y'all on the day but january 26 my channel will make a year i know right we grew fast we grew fast um <laughs> so i'm very grateful for that thank you all so very much but i have never taken a break because I have my channel. So because of that, well needed. So you better get your damn reading in by December. I'm going to have a lot of sales coming. I put it in the community tab. I don't think that you guys are getting the notifications. I'm going to send you to the email and get that up. But definitely check that $15 off uh, video out. I don't want to spend too much time in your video right now. Talking about that shit. It has its own video. Go check it out. All right. So let's get it rocking. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. As well as the Cross Watchers for Gemini. 15th to the 31st of December. We rock and we're going to get into your spirit message first. But again, this for my twins. All right, so during this time, Gemini, a lot of you guys are going to have to go relive a cycle. I'm hearing spirit says you're going to have to relive, but I literally hear a relive a cycle. But some of you all, some of you all, you're really trying to move to a lighter side of your journey during this time. But I feel like you keep kind of being pulled towards the darkness because you got, I'm hearing unfinished business. But some of you all, it has to do with balancing out a situation possibly from your past that, you know, you could have been maybe in a darker space or maybe a less evolved space during that time. And things that you swept up under a rug during this time is going to come out like, boom, here I go. So, <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy. <laughs> it's going to come out and really, really, really um, resurface during this time for you to balance it out. A lot of you all are really needing to find that balance internally within the self because i feel like I, I feel the need to tell gemini's as well thank you spirit to watch your temper during this time this may this is a very healing time and i feel like it's something about perception or perspective okay that is really needing to be gained and there's really i'm hearing compromises are needing to be made all right gemini i feel that in the past it, there's this need going forward either to have light shed okay on a situation that could have affected either your integrity or, or you know, even if, if shedding the light on a situation could possibly affect how you feel internally, you know, in, in integrally, you know. And I feel like for some of you all, you're really having to understand that this journey that you're on, you're going to gain that wisdom. And as a transmutable energy, it's about transmuting negative situations into positive ones. So if there were if there was any cycle in your life, I'm literally hearing children. This could also be um with the father figure, maybe the father of your children, or maybe your father. But it's like healing. I'm I'm hearing healing hereditary cycles, okay. But there's some light or some uh there's gonna be some type of light shed on a situation. Some of you all may be dreaming of some type of recurring event during this time, and I feel that. As you get closer to the end of the month, you're going to understand what the hell, why you were dreaming of that event. For some of you all, you are visionaries. You have prophet, you, you, you have 
prophetic dreams. And during this time, your dreams are going to be lit. Let me tell you that. The level of lucidity with their revelations around them is just going to take you to shift your perception in order to interpret interpret them um, from a place of not looking at the situation with fear or doubt that you won't be successful because you will be. And the situation externally and internally is going to bring a sense of a shift in perspective, which will actually um, expand, allow you the ability to expand um, on your wisdom during this time. I hope it don't sound like I'm fucking rambling, but I was trying to piece that out together because that information comes fast. Some of you all are internally conflicted. Okay, and I feel like during this time you're internally conflicted because I feel that you're really needing to shed light on a situation, all right, that could actually affect your integrity. You have the wisdom, you have the wit, as well as the charm. And for some of you all, it's not using it, using your abilities from a negative place. Some of y'all are really battling, you know, yourself internally. And I feel like it's about making the right decision. But my thing is, stop beating yourself up about a wrong decision if it's only a wrong decision to you and your particular perception. Definitely ask your loved ones around you during this time. Allow them to be there for you because a lot of you all are trying to find that harmony within the self during this time and move away to move away and move forward in a way that is not so heavy. It's about letting those burdens go. For some of y'all, I literally heard paternity. So some of y'all could be dealing with paternity, court documents, um, things that were once hidden could be coming to the surface. And I'm literally hearing records or I'm, I'm hearing I'm, I'm hearing records, documents, uh, paternity. Um, I'm hearing restraining order. So some of you all, this could also involve your children as well. Um, I feel that during this time, especially if you are an intuitive or your children is intuitive. Some of y'all could actually be finding out that you got intuitive children. Um, but I feel that for some of you all, I'm also hearing ancestral. Or some of you all who have intuitive children or maybe your child is a psychic, especially if you have a water sign or a fire sign child who is a psychic. I feel that this person, there could be like some type of internal conflict between you and this person. Or some type of tension that you may feel. And it has to do with the situation needing to be honestly healed. Okay. I feel that either you or this person is on the brink of finding out some truth. I feel that um, your dreams during this time has been very, like, very revealing. But you're moving to, it's not for you to look at it like, oh shit, he come a shake up. Yes, the shakeup is coming. I'll be lying to you if I tell you something different, but it's going to bring an opportunity to heal if you look at it from that perspective. And I feel intuitively some of y'all already have been seeing it coming. Some of you have been seeing it coming through synchronicities of numbers or the things that is coming on TV or some of your dreams, the like the the repetitive the repetitiveness of it. Some of you guys could be very, very, very into during this time. Y'all gonna be very intuitive, but I feel like you know that a sh that, that that a damn shakeup is coming, and I feel like with that shakeup is going to bring you and someone else an opportunity to heal and mend the situation and bring harmony to a situation, Gemini, so that you can truly release it and truly live your truth and and, and feel freedom from holding that burden for so long. I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, when because when I asked Spirit. To clarify with regular tarot cards what the spirit message was about, what I got was something that was hidden or not being spoken about, or maybe emotions or feelings toward another person, or I feel like this is more information because I heard documents. So I feel like, Jim, now you or another person could have been keeping something from someone else, and I feel like it's judgment time. I feel like there's going to be some type of divine intervention that's going to push that truth and clarity and make it fall in somebody's lap. And it has to do with your transformation and releasing your own judgments towards yourself or feeling like you're going to be judged for a situation because I feel like it's having to do with hereditary cycles. And if you have uh, any type of intuitive children or psychic children during this time, you may want to talk to your children and ask them about their dreams or their sleeping patterns because some of them may be holding information and maybe they've asked you in the past, Gemini, or maybe like they have... There, I feel like clarity have tried to be had in the past, but someone was internally conflicted because they felt that they're about bringing balance to a situation through knowledge and information and clarity to a situation because they were internally conflicted on if this person or if the situation would 
bring the thread to um, some type of like something about integrity will make you feel like less than or as if, you know, will make you pretty much judge yourself or bring judgment upon you. Okay. Or another person in your energy. But I definitely feel it has to do with the transformation. Okay. So we're going to get into this little love message for my Jimmy's. For my twins. Yeah, during this time, a lot of you guys are moving into a harmonious space. Um, and it's going to be more so about either making an offer or um, possibly receiving an offer. Or being able to communicate moving forward to have that harmony within to be able to truly move forward and make a movement towards an offer. Possibly with a Pisces, a Scorpio, Taurus. Spirit, please show me. For my Jimmy skin. Respect and love between the 15th and the 31st of December. Some of you all are victoriously moving forward. Uh, possibly communicating, you know, possibly to an earth sign, uh, Capricorn. Okay, this could be a Taurus as well. Some of y'all are just keeping to yourself. Some of y'all got two options. During this time, a lot of y'all are really just going to be real. You know, I, my, my happiness, my heart does not lie here. I feel that I've stayed here for stability and I want things to be fair. Okay, however, what I'm sitting on is the fact that I want to harmoniously move forward. I want victory. I want I want movement. I want harmony within the self, and that harmony within the self, I have to make a decision to release something, okay, and really openly speak my truth, and I feel like, Gemini, for some of y'all, it's going to come out in the midst of anger, okay, during this time, but like somebody's going to come at you, and it's going to be something that catches you off guard, but I feel like this could also involve, uh, but it's going to put you in this period of solitude. Some of y'all have to choose between the Capricorn and the Virgo. Okay, or some of you all, this information could have it involved a Capricorn and a Virgo. Okay, in the past, maybe you could have had two options. Okay, for some of you all, there's definitely a choice. For some of you all, it's choosing a toxic person to remove yourself from a toxic person and go to go in this period of like solitude to really reflect on what it is that you truly, truly want. Okay, but for some of y'all, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo that has a choice between two. And this is why things can't move forward because something is not being revealed. There's not clarity had on the situation. It could involve the father of your child. Okay, this could also uh, involve some type of business endeavor and separating yourself from a toxic work environment for some of y'all. It could also have to do with making investment, not knowing which way to go, who to damn trust because you feel like you're just surrounded by fake-ass people. Here, what is... Yeah, some of y'all have a toxic-ass... Some of y'all got a toxic ass boss. I see some of y'all walking away from a job during this time. I feel that for some of you all who are doing this, Spirit has been trying to push you out the door, though. Because you have another decision, but it's that comfort and you being comfortable where you are. But if it's not bringing you fulfillment, why go out with some woulda, coulda, shouldas? But some of you all, yeah, some of you all could have had strength, okay, I could, I could have been trying to push through or could be trying to push through when it comes to work. Because I feel like for some of you all, you're not passionate about it anymore. Some of you all could also be dealing with a fire sign, a uh, Leo, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you work with. And I feel like for some of you all, either you or this other person, yeah, intuitively you know that, intuitively you know that you're going to have to push forward and release yourself from something in order for, because I feel like if you work with this person, Gemini, this person is no longer going to allow you to like string them along or vice versa. You're not going to allow this person to string, to string them, to pretty much string you along. Some of you all are using your intuition when it comes to dealing with the Leo. I feel like you want to offer this person a cup of love, but for some of y'all just here, I'm tired. I'm tired of arguing. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of feeling like, you know, I'm not enough. I just want to move away from this shit. And this could also be a Leo or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone, you or another person is very intuitive. Or intuitively, some of y'all been feeling that a Leo, this could be a soulmate. You could have walked away from this person. This person is not only coming to offer their cup of love, but some type of uh, clarity and validity to a situation. This could also involve a Sagittarius as well. But it's definitely, whatever news is coming, it's going to allow you to release burdens, baby, my, my Gemini's. To move into a new cycle of your life. Okay? And it's going... It's, it's, it, it, and it's not... I feel like some of y'all are afraid of being accepted. I'm hearing that somebody actually... 
some of you all are going into possibly have a new lover that is same sex that I'm hearing. Some of you all could have been raised very traditional, okay, or very like Christian like. So you you worried about what your family's going to say. You worry about what your kids or what you, what are your how your loved ones going to receive you. But you're tired of feeling like, or maybe you're dealing with someone who's tired of being a secret Gemini. Period. They're no longer going to allow you to string along the situation. And I feel that you truly love this person. Yeah. Some of y'all have a tower moment. Okay, this you'll be dealing with a Scorpio. But I feel like some of you all are releasing a burden during this time. It's just like, I'm tired. I have to give myself that love and that clarity. Some of y'all, okay, intuitively know that it's time to end the cycle when it comes to dealing with an Aquarius person. I feel like you continuously fight with that person, possibly because that person has a lot of options. Either you or this other person has options. And you have to, you just kind of taking that attitude of, you know, I can do bad by my damn self. I don't need your help doing bad, baby. I, I got this. Okay, some of you all, why is the devil here? Yeah, some of you all are speaking your truth, your passions. I'm no longer fulfilled. Some of y'all are cutting off a fire sign that you feel is toxic. This person could be younger than you. This could also be, be your children. But I feel like some of y'all could be cutting off a Capricorn due to some type of communication that's coming forward, okay? This could also involve a fire sign. The hermit here. Yeah. Some of you all, yeah, some of you all have a choice to make between cutting off a Capricorn or cutting off a Virgo. And I feel like if you're dealing with a Virgo, this person could have to choose between you and a fire sign, you as this Capricorn as well. Somebody has to choose between yourself and a fire sign and making a decision. I feel like someone is very passionate about one person, but they look at the other person as like being a financial, like, like a, a like financially stable with another person but i feel like those two worlds are no longer coinciding with peace gemini so you need them to make a decision why is this father of pentacles here yeah but some of you are you really want to move forward okay possibly either towards a virgo taurus capricorn or away from their ass because of the fact that this person has you and another or this person wants that solid that solid foundation from you they need you to take that leap of faith but you're afraid to take that leap of faith because you're just like no i'm married but somehow you're married i can't leave this person on the car i can't just up and take this leap of faith what about my finances and i feel like you're very passionate about this person some of y'all are moving away from a Virgo due to the fact that they're just in and out of your life and you're just over the shit. Okay? Let's get it. Hey, why is the moon card here? Yeah. Some of y'all got a... Some of y'all are either stalking uh, air sign. This could be you watching somebody that you work with or somebody who you work with. This could be a Pisces person as well. This person wants to move forward with you, but maybe this person moved away from you because they just don't no longer want to be an option. And you could be watching this person. Um, yeah. But some of you all, you needing to make that judgment in order to have that harmony within yourself during this time. And for some of you all, you're communicating as far as uh, possibly like distributing finances, maybe like amongst families, something of that nature. Some of you all could also have a brand new uh, family dynamic coming. Some of you all could also be finding out that you have an addition to your family. You could be finding out that your kids, uh, that maybe one of your children are pregnant, okay? I feel like if your baby is pregnant or one of your kids is pregnant, especially if your child is a, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your child could also be an earth sign. This could also be, a little bit of everybody is here, but I feel like if your child is also attached to a water sign, you could possibly have a grandbaby on the way. The baby will be a little girl. Congratulations, Mocha Lud kids. Some of you all, yeah, some of you all are being very defensive. I have a fire sign that you're being defensive towards taking an offer from them. This person could be actually coming to try to help you financially, but I feel like this is somebody who hurt you in the past, or maybe you want to make an offer to a fire sign. I feel like you want to move forward with this person and put in the work and let this person know, hey, I loved you. I was a jerk in the past, okay? All right? Or some of y'all could actually want to make an offer. This water sign is not is, is, is no longer accepting your offer. Um, I feel that some of you all could have been sending this person or will be sending this person cute things. Somebody going to reject it. <laughs> Whoever this is, Gemini, they is not having it. I see Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio on the board. They not having it. Why is this strength card here, Spirit? Why well, have the strength card here for my Gemini's? Yeah, some of you all 
or actually having the strength and pushing forward and taking an offer from a Leo or making an offer to a Leo. I feel that some of y'all got a telepathic connection with somebody. Like you've been dreaming of this person. For some of y'all, it's that damn Leo. Intuitively, you know that this person is a soulmate. I feel like you or this person have patiently waited, but somebody is not, they, they're done waiting. Some This could be you, Gemini, cutting this person off. Or well, this person could be Queen of Swords in your ass. I feel like they they want to. They, someone no longer wants to accept mediocre ass love. I'm gonna get all or nothing, all right? All or nothing. And I feel like for some of you all, you are gonna block your blessing, holding on to some shit where you don't fulfill. You don't feel fulfilled. Possibly some of y'all could be juggling the mother, or the father of your child. This person, some of y'all could be juggling Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And y'all better be careful because some of y'all, during this time, you're very fertile. Your ass might get pregnant and find yourself. That's why I heard that paternity, judgment, okay? It's karma time. Y'all better watch what you're doing. Some of you all, some of you all could actually be uh, finding out or revealing the truth that, um, or learning that there is needing to be like a paternity test. Because for some of you all, you could have juggled in the past with the earth sign and the fire sign. Or two earth signs. And I feel like you could have gotten pregnant. And I feel like you could have walked away from a situation intuitively knowing that you moved away from a soulmate and you moved impulsively. And this could have affected your children. And I feel like that truth and clarity is really needing to be had because, yeah, this Aries Leo Sagittarius, I feel like this person is, is going to be moving away. Or maybe intuitively you feel like this person is going to be moving away. All right. Some of y'all could be finding out that your children are moving during this time. And I feel like. That truth and clarity of somebody possibly feeling abandoned or feeling like they're not knowing everything or feeling like rejected and not able to move away from the past and what happened in the past is going to be quite the damn lesson this month as far as perceiving situations and actually seeing the blessing out of them and not perceiving them from a place of like judgment. Some of you all are going to be feeling left out. Some of y'all actually may leave um, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo out in the cold. I feel like you really don't give a damn about what this person can do for you financially during this time because you already have the truth and clarity that it's moving away from that situation. I'm going to already have that because I'm naturally abundant my damn self. So some of you all are going to have to be truthful to a soulmate and let them know, look, I loved you. I've been patient in this situation forever trying to wait on the day that I wake up and be happy and tell myself that I truly believe myself when I'm happy and telling myself that I'm happy, but I don't. And I can't keep lying to you nor myself. So because I love you, I love you enough to walk away and let you go and truly heal this, heal myself. For some of you all, you're healing the situation with the Sagittarius, okay? And I feel like this situation is going to leave somebody broken, okay? Either you or the Sagittarius, I feel like you could be healing from a Sagittarius after having to walk away from them. And I feel like someone wants to hold on to the situation, even if they got to spend money to do so. But Gemini, you just like, fuck it. Some of y'all are literally leaving the marriage out in the cold. Some of y'all could be a Libra. But for some of you all, you've been patiently waiting on how to tell somebody that you're ready to move forward. You're ready to heal. You want to heal a situation, but you know that it's going to force movement or force someone to be cut out. Or for that matter, someone, something or someone is going to have to be left in order for you to flourish, Gemini, the way that your heart is screaming out to you that it wants to. During this time, I see forward movement to new beginnings, new passionate beginnings, if you just trust the damn process, to new, to, to, to divine love. It's coming in for your ass if you just choose to move forward for some of y'all, either to a fire sign or away from a fire sign. Okay, and go into your new cycle. Some of you all are moving towards a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or a damn Scorpio, but you need to move away from either an air sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. But some of you all that will be moving towards progress, healing, and change, okay, as well as moving away to start over due to a third party situation, all right? But it definitely, fear not, especially some of you guys. Or having to go through this transformation because you're having to leave a marriage. Okay, for some of you guys, you could be your lover could be telling you, look, I want a divorce. You know, and I feel like whatever this is, it's going to be quick, fast, and very sudden. So, Gemini, I suggest that you stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But there is definitely healing, a perception, a perception shift, as well as a receiving of many, many, many blessings that the Spirit is trying to bestow. But it's 
only allow it's only going to be allowed to happen once you're in the proper alignment with with your authentic with your authentic self as well as being truthful with yourself about what it is that you truly want. And for some of you all, it's just really choosing to be with your damn self and choosing to pull back and go into solitude and ask yourself, what am I really passionate about? What gives, what is my life purpose? What am I supposed to be moving upon? Ask God to send you particular synchronicities of things that you don't see every day so that you know that that's for you. And that, and that sign and that message was for you. And you know what you prayed for, so you know how you got to move. Allow God to do God's job and stop overthinking it, my babies. This is what I have for my Geminis between the 15th and the 31st of December. I love y'all very, very, very much. Much love, much light. Get y'all damn book y'all reading special because I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all when I say I'm going on break, y'all think it's gay. I love y'all very much. Namaste. Bye, booze.